momentum, new momentum to Republicans after the Democrats were closing the gap, the historic gap. Yes. So after the Supreme Court ruling, there was huge outrage. That has seemed to subside, at least among overriding concerns. Despite all the legislative accomplishments, and I, I want to cite them, I want to, you know, say it's been an extraordinary session. You and the president have done so much in terms of domestic concerns, the economy. So why is this message, why do you think the president has gotten this message through to the voters? Well, first of all, uh, let me say uh, that I think that much of what you've said I don't agree with. That is okay. to say, the New York Times poll, I think, is an outlier poll. You just cite one poll, but all the other it's polls. It's also the real clear different... politics average no. is showing similar issues. No, th but, they, but that was one that brought down the average, and it was an outlier. It wasn't okay. even that big a sample. So I, I dismiss that. Uh, I have been, uh, since Congress adjourned, I've been in an average of five states a week. And I can tell you uh, that women's concerns about their freedom are very, very much still very significant in terms of how they will vote. In fact, 80 percent of people who care about a woman's right to choose say they will vote, they will determine who they vote for. So again, uh, Washington has always been, oh, the Republicans are going to win, there's no question, for a year and a half. Now that that has diminished in terms of that certainty and there is a, a real race on, the Republicans are pouring endless money, dark undisclosed special interest money into the campaigns, but we're holding our own. It's a matter of who turns out to vote. Uh, there are issues that we, of course, we want to uh, uh, fight inflation. It's a global issue. But some of the inflation in our country sprang from the fact that this president created nearly 10 million jobs, at least 9 million jobs, working with the private sector. The private sector creates a lot of that. And, uh, and, and when you, uh, as, uh, as the distinguished chair of the Fed told me when I was a brand new member of Congress, Chairman Greenspan said, uh, when you're talking about inflation, unemployment can be dangerously low. So they are not un unrelated. So we feel, we feel pretty good about it. We, uh, I track these, this, uh, these campaigns very carefully. Uh, I believe that we will have the, the mobilization to own the ground, to turn out the vote, uh, the clear message. They want to, we want to give women freedom of choice. They want to have a ban on abortion. We want to support and strengthen Medicare, Social Security, et cetera. Uh, they want to use the debt ceiling uh, to cut that. We want to, we have, we have lowered the cost of prescription drugs for seniors. They want to reverse that. We want to save the planet for our children in the future. They say that that's a hoax, and that's the argument they used on the floor to oppose the Inflation Reduction Act, which made historic gains for well, fighting the comet. Let me ask, why did the president wait till now to make this major push for what he says will be a post